Welcome to series photography. So this is the last and final project that you'll have to do in photography. So to describe what series is, it's a group of photos that go together either stylistically or thematically. So if you're in photo one, you have to do a series of three. Or if you're in photo two or an advanced photo, you'll have to do a series of five. So as we look at these images, these are all series or bodies of work. So for example, this is a series of a dead fly, um, just showing like the everyday life of a fly. This is a series that um, includes some sort of like astronaut looking guy and plants growing out of the helmet. Now, sometimes when you look at a series, there's a photo that might be out of place. And this is common for a photo one person. Um, so you can obviously see that the bottom picture doesn't fit in. It doesn't fit in stylistically or thematically. This series here is called shadow play. So to take this kind of image, you would need to take one picture of the shoes and then one picture of the person in the shoes casting the shadow. And what you would do in Photoshop is just erase the person and you get this image. This here is a series on body parts combined with fruit. This series here is finely sliced fruit with a light coming from behind it. All of these are pretty uniformly shot in a square format. However, the strawberry one does not fit in with this series because it's a different format. It's rectangular versus square. This series here is all square in format, which deal with different types of models using different types of food and different types of makeup that look like the food or the same color of the food. And this is a series of eight. This series here is a little bit harder to tell what it's about, but this one is about um, migrant workers. And so they're all pretty uniformly shot and they're all carrying their little bags. Um, this series here is about elements. We have a couple different series here. So the series on the left is about food cut in half and what that would look like. The series in the middle is about um, oddities. So for example, you know, silverware doesn't have, you know, rope at the end. It would be non-functional and really hard to use. Dice without the dots are non-functional. And then um, the series on the right hand side is different portraits of different people. And they're using probably like a leaf blower or a really powerful fan to create these like kind of comedic uh, faces. So each of these are a series of three, which is what photo one has to do. This series here combines old photos from history books with new images. This series is about kind of like the dark side of fairy tales and how it's not always happily ever after. This series here all have umbrellas. They all have smoke bombs. Everybody is wearing a colored outfit. They're very colorful in general. You could see that some of them fit together better than others. This series here, they went to different locations. So this is a series of three photos. They went to different locations and everybody is holding the, um, the glass ball the same way. I will point out that the third image on the right doesn't have the same uh, coat. So you definitely want them to be similar. So for this series, they combine two different images and cut them. The two images on the middle and the right go together a little bit better than the image on the left. The image on the left is a little confusing because you have a person in a tree versus the other images are two people. 
This series here explores the underside of what animals look like. It's a really interesting and different perspective. If you're interested in doing something like this, you would need a clear glass panel and you would need something holding it up and you would also need three different animals. This series here is about um, family portraits and just exploring what they would look like without their facial features. This series of three pictures um, tells the story and the day of a life of um, a man and his pet and how uh, it starts from you know small and then grows larger. Here's another series kind of using the same character. Uh, this is a series about just a day in a life of a stormtrooper. It's meant to be funny. This particular series of work is about how humans are consumed by cell phones. If this is something that interests you, this photographer went to various locations um, like museums and places where you should appreciate your surroundings and yet they're kind of sucked into their phone uh, literally and figuratively and they just use the liquify tool to get this effect. And here's some more images. This series here, this is a series of six photos. What they did is they found different animals and then they cut out the silhouette. And if you notice, they're all in really interesting different locations. If this is something that interests you, one of the biggest challenges is just making sure that everything is in focus. So if you look at these pictures, Everything is in focus, the foreground, the background. So that is one of the challenging aspects of these types of photos. Finding three unique places is also quite a challenge as well. This series here explores different portraits. So they took portraits of different people and then printed them out. And I can print them out for you. And they use different kinds of um, liquid on top of the photos to distort them. So rubbing alcohol, um, acetone, things like that. And it was more of an exploratory piece um, with their photography. And here's some more images. Now, if you want to do a series where you need me to print and have you cut out and collage your images, that's fine. Just make sure I have those in advance to do that. This um, photographer here does series working with food, and they tell a story with kind of like a side of humor. So um, some of his stuff is kind of dark humor. Um, here's some more images. Now, when I look at your photos, they need to go together, either stylistically, thematically, through a storyline. So looking at these three images, the one on the bottom doesn't quite fit in. So you would need a third image that had polka dots, maybe a different size, um, but the floral does not fit in. This series here is all shot in square format. It all has different models just right beneath the surface. This, here, this series here explores different objects organized in a really interesting way. This series explores food photography, but there's something quite off with each of them. Both of all these photos here are really colorful, but there's like a surprising element to it. This series might not um, immediately come out to you as like going together, but what they did is they found people who collected certain objects. So for example, the person on the right collected wolves, the person on the le left cr collected rocks. And what they did is that they organized these objects in a really meticulous way and then photographed that person um, in the photo. This series explored color of different food objects. This person here explored um, different just objects in color and organization. This series is mirror illusion. This series is about um, the sacrifice of women and what they have to go through for beauty. 
this series. Um, they photograph different um, foods, and what they did is they dipped them in uh, like a paint and let it drip. This series was more of a fashion uh, series, but using an unconventional item such as dandelions. This series is based on minimalistic signs and lights. Now, what you need to start thinking about is you can pretty much take any image and make it a series. So if your series was about Polaroids, um, this person kind of cut their uh, Polaroid out or photographed a Polaroid and put it in that same image, the third image would have to have a Polaroid, a person holding it, and a person in a different location. This series here is um, just different buildings, but what makes this interesting and unique is that they um, just painted the background similar to the color of the building. This series here is three different um, models with different kinds of animals coming from the left-hand side. This series is all about distortion and um, kind of like the condensation that happens when you have like a hot mirror or a hot um, piece of glass. So when you're thinking about your series idea, I would find something that you like and think about ways to on how to make it a series. You want your idea to be creative and challenging. And again, they should all go together stylistically or thematically. This is a project that you definitely want to take some time thinking and planning out. And if you have any questions, feel free to email me.